Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're having a really, really amazing day. Today's pick a card reading is what are they hiding? Um, notice the pine cones. I know a few of you make comments when I put pine cones on. <laughs> anyway, uh, for those of you who are new to this channel, you'll be thinking, what is she talking about pine cones for? What a weirdo. There you go. It is what it is. Right, so today's pick a card, there are four options for groups. Um, I am intuitive, so it's an intuitive reading. So some of the messages um, may seem a bit unusual to you or they may not be what you're used to seeing. Um, it's also general, remember, so um, just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, yeah, that's all I really want to say. If you'd like a private reading with me, check the description below. It will give you a link to it. Um, yeah, let's get on with today's reading. Hi, group one. I'm going to put this down here. So I've got three oracle cards for... Whew, excuse me. I've got three oracle cards for clarification and for, uh, right, uh, for fountain tarot cards. So what are they hiding? We've got the eight of swords, knight of wands, seven of coins, two of swords. Okay, so what they are most likely hiding is... A high level of thoughtfulness, rumination, fear. It doesn't have to be fear, though. It can just be overthinking. They're not showing you how much they're thinking and how much they're bothered, how worried they are, how concerned they are, how much they're thinking about the situation. They are coming through as the Knight of Wands. So this is someone who's bold and brave, you know, maybe a kind of love them and leave them, a bit of a lovable rogue, sexy and powerful, confident. So it's very likely that this person is either giving you this kind of impression that they're really, really um, kind of confident and not bothered or, you know, not, you know, that things aren't phasing them. They may be giving the impression that they're really strong and, you know, they're not worried about anything. And what I think is going on is that they're more bothered than you realise. They're not as strong as you think they are. They're overly thinking things through. We've got the Two of Swords and the Eight of Swords. So they actually could feel quite helpless. They might feel a little bit like it's a hopeless situation or they're worried about the circumstance in some way, shape or form. The Seven of Coins is also a ruminating card. You know, it's stopping, thinking, pondering, trying to decide how to move forward trying to decide the best course of action. There's a whole lot of thinking going on here. And it might seem like this person is only interested in Knight of Wands kind of energy. So this is kind of like a sexual or a sexy energy or like a passionate energy. And and again, like I said, it, it can come through as like a an overtly confident, even a bit cocky or, you know, overly sure of themselves. But actually, there's a suggestion that underneath there's a lot of overthinking or worry going on now this can be coming out very dysfunctionally this could be why if this person does seem to be a bit of a jack the lad or a bit of a you know a ladder this person like running around doing what they want seeming to be kind of like maybe even a bit out of control or seeming like they're just kind of out for a good time or whatever you know there's this kind of powerful energy but it could be a bit dysfunctional and this is because this person maybe is trying to overcompensate or trying to run away from their fears because this is someone who is overthinking or feels helpless with their thoughts let's have a look at the oracle cards for clarification um yeah look this person is definitely taking a lot of action we've got the move card here this is the chariot so this is someone trying to overcome obstacles. This person is very likely to be acting the way they are because they're trying to run away from their problems or they're trying to overcome their issues. Now, the, the chariot is generally about overcoming external issues, but I feel like this is just taken to be taken as move. You know, it's like this person is trying to run. This person is trying to constantly stay one step ahead of their own issues. Yeah, grieve your losses this is like the five of cups. This is someone who feels sad or somehow lost in their old pain. This card, this Grieve Your Losses card is, is an advisory card. It's a t uh, an oracle, uh, sort of a deck that uh, comes from a deck that is basically like advice. 
So it's saying you need to let go of the past, you need to grieve your losses and then move on. And this is what this person needs to do, but instead they're trying to keep ahead of it and running away from their problems, so to speak. But look, this is nice because in the near future, you're going to see this, you know, that what they're hiding, this fear or this worry, they're maybe going to reveal it to you. Perhaps you'll have a conversation and they'll actually tell you, you know, this is worrying me or I'm having this problem. Um, and that actually it will then be able to be resolved because that is the key here is that this sort of racing around or overtly kind of backwards and forwards energy you've got with this person is because they are afraid basically or have some sort of version of fear uh, and this is keeping them on the move and try they're basically running from their problems that's what they're hiding so i hope this makes sense loads of love and i'll see you on the next reading or a private reading in the meantime see you soon guys have a great day don't forget to like and subscribe Hi group two, how are you doing? I hope you're great. So we've got three cards for advice, here. sorry, three cards for clarification. And then we've got four uh, fountain tarot. So we're looking at what are they hiding? The emperor, the hanged man, the page of cups, the ten of coins. Okay, this isn't dissimilar from group one actually. So this person is presenting as the emperor. This is someone who is in charge of their life. This is someone who is quite powerful, who feels quite capable of kind of sorting their life out. Um, this is someone who feels, um, you know, really like, is, this is someone who's giving the impression that they really know what they're doing, that they're in charge of their life, you know, and I think that this could be very misleading because this is someone who is confident in control this is someone who is powerful and it's not saying that your person isn't powerful but what it looks like to me is that they are perhaps not as powerful or as in control as you think they are with the hanged man things aren't quite as they seem with them what it's saying is on the surface they look like they're in charge but underneath it all they feel a bit stuck and a bit confused um they're not seeing it quite the right way. What They're hiding from you a state of feeling vulnerable and confused. And that's how I feel it's quite similar to group one. Because that was a kind of similar vibe. So Page of Cups is saying, you know, that they feel this vulnerable Page of Cups energy. It's not a bad energy, but it's a sort of, like I say, it's a youthful, childlike energy. It's a wondrous energy. It's an energy to do with... Uh, you know, magical thinking and dreams coming true. It's all very kind of childlike. And then there's this hanged man energy, which is feeling stuck and feeling a bit helpless. Again, quite a kind of childlike. The, the hanged man is not a childlike energy, but intuitively this feels like this person underneath it all feels a bit unsure, feels a bit stuck, feels a bit, you, you know, childlike and a bit... um you're just uncertain about how to do things. But also they're hiding that they feel or they they're hiding that they feel a great sense of wealth and abundance in the situation. So they're hiding from you how wonderful the situation feels as well. Because the page of cups is about um a wonderful magical opportunity often, but as well, it's got this kind of like fantasy like childish sometimes and childlike if in you know at best it's a childlike energy at worst it's a childish energy so I feel like this person is giving it the impression that this person is you know I'm all right on my you know I'm all right on my own perhaps or I'm perfectly independent I'm strong I'm confident I'm the director of my life I don't have any issues I don't need to worry about anything I'm you know everything's all right but actually underneath it all, this person feels a bit stuck. This person feels a little bit insecure, a bit unsure. They feel like this is a kind of quite an emotional situation for them. They feel a huge amount of abundance. They feel a huge amount of just this sense of awe. You know, they feel like, wow, you know, this is a massive thing for them. And they feel like it's it's incredible. Um and they feel like it's it's amazing, the situation. 
you know, so perhaps this wouldn't be too far to say that a lot of you, they think you are amazing, that you are incredible, but they're kind of giving the impression that they're fine and, you know, maybe even acting ambivalent. Um, but do listen to your intuition on this because it is an intuitive general read. So that won't be the case for all of you. So some of you that your person is acting ambivalent because they feel ambivalent. So, you know, listen to your intuition on that. But for quite a few of you, this person feels like this is a magical, amazing opportunity. But what they're hiding from is you, they feel stuck. They don't really know what to do with it. They're probably not very comfortable with feeling vulnerable. Hence them giving this impression of being like this big I am energy with the emperor. Yeah, hope this makes sense. Let's have a look. So clarifications, we've got the master card. This is the... Um, this is the ego card. So this is the devil. We've got laugh at your demons and opportunity. Yeah. So it's interesting because this person kind of gives it um, that they're all confident or that they maybe give some impression of being confident. But actually, this person is very caught up with the ten of coins as well. It could be that this person, they're hiding from you how important the material life is to them. So if there's a um, an issue with the relationship moving forwards and you're not really sure how to get the relationship to move forwards it could well be that there are issues around um, he or she prioritizing money business etc but there is this sense of this person feels caught up this person's not looking at it quite the right way this person is a, a almost a bit of a slave to their own demons their own uh addictions or desires or their own you know that might be caught up in the rat race that's very possible with the emperor this is a director energy so this could be someone who's focused more on money power and external success maybe but the point is this person is does have more vulnerability than they are showing the, the advisory card is laugh at your demons this is suggesting that this person is allowing their own fears and their own sense of feeling trapped and their own worries and their own uh, demons get the better of them hence the devil card but I love this opportunity because we've got this sense of the gold raining down as well here I think there's such a lot of abundance and wealth on offer here so yes this person may be caught up monetarily in an egoic way but I think there's a lot of abundance within the relationship as well with you or you know, so there is an opportunity for them to break free of it. That's what they're saying. They're hiding how vulnerable they feel. They're hiding how much they value the situation. They're giving it the the big I am almost, a few of them, or, or quite a few of them. Um, they're maybe focusing on the wrong things, but they what they're hiding essentially is that they do feel, you know, vulnerable and they are caught up in their own stuff their own ego stuff and that they can't see a way out in the minute and that's essentially what they're hiding loads of love group two i will see you on the next reading or a private reading in the meantime see you soon guys hi group three how are you doing so we've got three oracle cards for clarification and then we are looking at what are they hiding? Page of Swords, the Magician, the Tower, the Knight of Coins. So this is interesting. This person with the Page of Swords, this person is hiding that they are watching you most likely. They could be watching you on social media or, or some way. You know, there's some way that they're keeping an eye on you. They're in the background. You can't see them, but they're watching you. They still care. Now, they may be actually watching you or they may just be thinking about you. But there's this sense of background energy of spying, of looking. Um, there's also this sense that I feel like with the tower, it could mean a few different things, this combination. But what I feel is that there's probably been some sort of break up with you guys or some sort of issue with you guys this represents like chaos destruction or issue of some sort and what i would say is that they still see the situation with you as something they're interested in as something they want to pursue or something that they they feel is a good idea to them you know because we got the magician next to the page of swords for me this card in this deck generally means 
it's a good idea. So what they're hiding is they see the situation with you as a good idea. And the magician, this is new beginnings, new starts. So this person, what they're hiding is they do want a new beginning. But there's something chaotic has gone on for this person. They're hiding how much pain they've gone through or how much destruction they've gone through. They're hiding a, a bit of vulnerability here because the Knight of Coins is someone that's still learning. It's someone who's only part way there. So what this feels like to me is this person still wants the new beginning with you and they're hiding that. They're still, they're watching you from the sidelines because they don't feel perhaps quite ready yet. We've got the tower. They've had something really bad happen to them or this could be something, I mean, I put really bad in inverted commas. For a few of you, your person has been through something really bad. Um, uh, for some of you, it's more, you know, maybe in the grand scheme of life, it's not really bad. But for them, it was really destructive. So it can be a bit of a, you know, um, it can be something like losing a job. It could be an illness. It could be um, someone in your life dying. It can be, but it can be something relatively on the surface insignificant but could actually be a massive thing to you. So this could be, you know, the breakdown of a friendship or or just having a like an awakening of some sort, you know. So it could be a small set of small events that makes you wake up to some aspect of your life, which creates a sense of chaos, you know. It's like, you know, the tower is the universe coming along and sweeping away illusion, you know, and making you wake up to something. It's a blessing in disguise. It's for your own good, but it can feel painful and destructive and chaotic. So your person is hiding how much chaos they feel. Now, this could be that the breakup or the disappointment or whatever was with you, but they're hiding that. So you don't see that. You don't see, but they still see that this is a good idea with you, that it's something they want a new beginning um, and that they're part way there. They're halfway there, but they're not fully resolved. They're not fully where they want to be. So they're still looking from the sidelines. Let's have a look at the clarifications. Yeah, moving on, rejuvenate and big happy changes. Yeah, so these confirm. The Eight of Cups moving on. This is saying this person is trying to let go of something that was um, an old pattern that is dysfunctional, disruptive, an addiction, an issue. It doesn't have to be an addiction, it can be. But there's something chaotic that they're trying to move on from. So what they're hiding is they're still in recovery, rejuvenate. This is a need to have fun, let go of the drama, let go of the difficulty and to revive your own soul almost, you know, or reconnect with your soul. Obviously, your soul doesn't need reviving. It's always perfect. But, you know, we can feel depleted if we're not connected with it. And this is what this is all about. This person, what they're hiding is they're watching you from the sidelines because they're still recovering, basically. But the good news is with big happy changes is this person has let go of illusion. This person is halfway there. This person is making big happy changes. What they're hiding is, is that it seems like they've disappeared, but they haven't disappeared. They're actually moving on. They're focusing on what they really want. They've got higher goals in mind and they're, they're on their way. You know, that's where their focus is and that's where they're at. They're wanting to move towards the, you know, the big deal. They're wanting to let go of the past and let go of this chaotic situation. They're hiding that they want the new beginning with you because they are just watching from the sidelines whilst they get themselves in a good position. Yeah, but for the majority of you, they do still want this new beginning and they're hiding that. But they, the, the other thing they're hiding is that they're still going through a fair amount of dealing with the chaos. It's not that they're in the middle of the chaos. I don't feel that. I feel like they're halfway moved on from this. But the, the chaos, the disruption, whatever it was, is still a factor for them. And they're still learning to move on from it. Loads of love, guys. I will see you on the next reading or a private reading. In the meantime, have a wonderful day. Hi, group four. How are you doing? So we've got three oracle cards for clarification and then four fountain tarot cards. So what are they hiding? King of Coins, Six of Coins, the World, Justice. Wow. <laughs> These are powerful energies. 
this person is hiding that they want to be the king of coins. They are perhaps ready for the relationship. For me, this the king of coins, the queen of coins are the uh, husband wife energy, the long term partner energy. The king of coins is saying this person wants to be the long term partner. The six of coins is they want to offer something. The world is they're ready to move to the next level. The justice card is they want to make um, do the right thing. It can be a card of like legal agreements. So this could be about wanting to put things right, do the right thing. Um, you know, so it's interesting here because there's a strong energy of, you know, of hiding how right this feels or how much they want this situation. You know, there's a strong sense of abundance with the king of coins. This is a sense of abundance. This is a sense of stability, a sense of being ready, a readiness. The six of coins is balance. We've got justice, which is balance. So what they're hiding is that they feel really ready. They feel really balanced. They want to travel, to move, to go to, and this can be literally or metaphorically. So if you're waiting for this person to kind of make some sort of physical move or to move to a different place or to take some action. This is a card of moving and it can be metaphorically or literally. This is a card of taking a trip, moving to the next level of success. It's the best card in the deck. So this person is hiding how much they have to offer, that they want to offer it, that they're ready to do the right thing. This is good. Let's have a look. Right, okay, dedicated effort, eight of coins, be decisive and reconsider. Okay, so this makes more sense now. What it looks like is this person was not ready before. This person was not ready. And what has changed, what they're hiding is they are ready. We've got dedicated effort. The eight of coins is about self-mastery, okay? So this is almost a bit like past, present, future. So it's like... They're, the Ace of Coins is saying that they have mastered themselves. Now, not entirely, of course. Arguably, none of us ever entirely master ourselves. But the point is that they have worked on themselves. They've fine-tuned the situation. And this is why now they're hiding that they're ready. I don't know whether it's so much that they're hiding it as that they've just not revealed it yet. But this person it has worked on themselves and now they've brought themselves back into balance. They have something to offer. They want to make that journey. They want to take that trip. They want to move forwards. They want to have that new cycle begin. They want to end their old journey and begin the new journey with you and all of that sort of thing. Um, they put in the effort, dedicated effort. They put in the time and effort they're hiding that that you or it's I don't really feel with this group that they're hiding it as much as you just don't see it maybe you're not in communication maybe you just don't know um be decisive there's some element of hesitance going on here they're a bit uncertain whether to actually you know um make that contact or that communication or make that commitment you know they're still a little bit uncertain the reconsider is just that they have reconsidered their position. I feel like group four, most of you, this is someone that has maybe said, I don't want a relationship or I don't want anything more serious or I don't want to do this or that or the other, move to the next level, whatever it is. And what they're hiding is that they have reconsidered this, that they actually now do want it or they are reconsidering the situation with you. I think on the whole, it's a positive reconsidering. For one or two of you, it might not be, but I, I do feel like that with all these other cards. This person is reconsidering the abundance that they can offer. They want to offer something. That's the key. They're hiding that they ha now have something to offer that they didn't have before. They have abundance. They have wealth. And this doesn't have to be financial. This can be emotional. They have something to offer now. They want to do the right thing and follow what they know is right in in their core, you know, um, you know, I feel like as well, they've been sticking to some rules and they've been trying to navigate how to marry up their rules and, the, and their sense of right and wrong with what they are trying to do. But there's some essence of having completed that old cycle or being ready to move on to the next one. So what they're hiding is that they are ready to move forwards. They want to offer something. They've, they've reconsidered and they have, um, overcome 
their difficulties. What they're also hiding is though that they're a bit uncertain about how to move forwards with this. Hence the be decisive as an advisory card. You know, they need to be more decisive in order to make the most of the opportunity. Loads of love, guys. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you on a private reading or on the next reading. <laughs> Loads of love and have a great day. See you soon.